G'day, I'm Nev Sweeney and this is Under the Choco Tree. Well, you've made yourself some seed raising mix, you put your seeds into the punnets and now you need a place for them to sit so that they can get enough sun, get enough warmth, particularly in the cooler times of the year, to come up nicely. Uh, now obviously one possibility is to buy a really nice uh, greenhouse like this, but if you're not raising a lot that doesn't make a lot of sense. So I want to talk to you today about a way of making a small greenhouse out of recycled materials mostly, uh, based around waxed veggie cartons. Uh, a number of good reasons for using waxed veggie cartons, but the main one is that uh, because they're waxed they can't be recycled like normal paper can, they only go to landfill. So anytime you can find a use for waxed veggie cartons, uh, you're stopping uh, you're stopping waste going to landfill. The other thing is, of course, you can approach your local greengrocer and ask for them. They're going to dump them. They'll give them to you for nothing, uh, and so it's a win-win all round. So to make our miniature recycled greenhouse, you need a couple of waxed veggie cartons, some uh, old plastic packaging big enough to cover one side, um, some tape to fit it together with, and a knife to do the surgery. start, remove all but one uh, of the top flaps so that you can keep the original one as part of the tin. So there's your box. The main time you're going to be using this is in the cooler periods when the angle of the sun is going to be somewhat lower. So we need to cut down on an angle uh, so that the area facing the sun uh, will give you a, uh, a better sun exposure. While not being strictly necessary, having a straight edge of some description to guide your cut, and that might just be a lump of timber, will make it easier. So to leave about four inches or a hundred millimeters, so I'll make a cut on each side. That's what I'll use to base the rest of my cups on. And that gives us the bottom part. get the, uh, the side that's going to be the full length of our open area, we need to open the bottom up, so that's this one, remove him. So that got a little bit of the edge on each side, so it will go over the top here and gives good coverage. So the idea will be to have these two top bits together as the hinge. This will be cut off just below where the, uh, it goes over the top of the bottom and cut an area out which will let the sun in and then cut that area, uh, cover that area uh, with the plastic packaging. So here we have the aperture uh, where the sun's going to come through. I made the cut so that it was two inches or 50 millimetres past where the fold was. This goes on here. 
So that's the cutting of the lid finished. We now need to apply the clear facing. Don't need to get too technical with it. Uh, so long as it's slightly larger all around uh, than the, uh, the hole it's going to cover, it'll be fine. So there we have it, that's the clear facing applied. Uh, the main job left to do is to form the hinge, which is pretty easy. All you need to do is line up the two flaps so that everything is in place and then take them together with some of the repair. Okay, I note that there are some holes in the sides uh, because the idea of this is to keep the, uh, the heat in and provide light we'll use a bit of the tape to uh, block those holes. All finished and ready to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.